It's hard to imagine what my life would have been like without UIC in a way because one thing led to another. So I started as a media and crew member and then got hired as the assistant UIC coordinator. I was on and off uh, the media and crews and at the Ecology Youth Corps for about two and a half years. I worked uh, for one summer as a supervisor of a youth crew over in the Okanagan. It was my first job in the environmental field. Um, before I'd worked you know, at fast food restaurants and I knew that wasn't the right career for me. I think the Ecology Youth Corps and working for the median crew uh, gave me a very real understanding of kind of the consequences of improperly disposed of waste. It's like this global problem that the only solution is to keep waste out of the environment in the first when, place. When people throw things away, they don't go away. If it just stayed out here all the time, you'd see layers and layers of, of trash. Yeah, and that's what surprised me about it. You know, it's just, it's picking up litter. And yet, the kids had such an investment in, in a road. Being on the median crews and working with the Ecology Youth Corps, I think definitely established in my mind um, a desire to uh, work for ecology. It gave me an appreciation of what the agency does um, and actually being able to participate in the work of uh, environmental stewardship. So when I was working with the youth crew, what really struck me was that kids learn best when they use their hands. And so when I went on to develop curriculum materials in my career, I made sure that I always included a hands-on activity in everything I developed. I think it's really important that kids learn by doing. Uh, the most unique piece of litter we found was uh, just south of the Seattle city limits uh, on a freeway on ramp was an entirely intact piano. Cow skull that we found on I-5. And it was surprising how often kids found money. We did uh, find $450. We only have the kids for a month, but even seeing their understanding change of uh, the fact that the things that they in their lives normally throw away don't actually go away. Uh, they very much can stick around um, and sometimes end up in places like the side of the highway where they're not supposed to be. It was something meaningful and really introduced me to a lot of great people, um, great bosses, and um, showed me that I, there was a career path that I could take and do uh, make a difference in the environment. It's a great summer job for me as well as for the kids. Totally go for it. Do it. They should do it. That in addition to making money, they're going to find that they have a lot of pride in what they do. And it doesn't sound like a big deal cleaning up litter along the road, but it actually does make you feel really good at the end of the day. And then later when you're driving down the road and it's like, I cleaned that up. <laughs>